This is getting to be absurd. How much longer must we pretend? My daughter wails in disappointment, and our two families verge on coming to blows. There's nothing to be done for it. The groom is not coming. We do not know. Kaznar may be among those who recently went missing. Or he simply changed his mind. He is a forebear after all. I warned her. Crowns and forebears should not mix. Now everyone is angry. She must call off the wedding. Tiela is like a doom ripper in a sandstorm. She buries her head to hide from the truth. Perhaps you can help. I must stay here. But someone needs to speak to Kaznar's brother. Unless he can explain things. My daughter has agreed to give up. I am most grateful for your help. Kaznar's brother, Ine, will be at his market stall. The wedding offended him so greatly he had refused to attend. Whether he knows what happened to Kaznar or not, let us hope we can soon put the matter to rest. I do not know. I heard the killer was found dead, but that he was working for someone else. Who would instigate such evil? Magistrate Sulma? I... I cannot believe this, even of a forebear. Her mind must have been twisted by some dark magic. I suppose, though, if no one has told us that Kaznar's corpse was found, then that is a good sign. With a young man, the blood runs hot. He may have found another woman. Or it could be that he realized the foolishness of the idea. His family does not support the marriage either. His brother was not even planning to attend. For a crown to marry a forebear? In Sentinel, this may happen. But in Bergama, it is unheard of. For generations, our family's allegiances have not changed. If these two marry, whatever allegiance they choose, they will offend half the city. Ha! Oh, yes. I'm sure King Faharajad would like that very much. For crowns and forebears to settle our differences while he is in power. This would mean Faharajad's line would have everlasting legitimacy. I cannot support that. You... you're going to speak to Ine? Thank you. I just pray that there is some explanation for this. If Kaznar is dead, I don't think I can go on. I knew Kasnar was having doubts, but if he decided to back out, he should have at least sent word. To put his bride through this is just cruel. Poor Tiela. Welcome to Bergama, Wayfarer. We have the finest musical instruments in all Hammerfell. If you want a harp, a lute, or even a drum, you have come to the right place. Though that is not why you are here, is it? Kaznar? That's a sore subject. Believe it or not, he's actually getting married today. Should be at the wedding right now. I know, I know, I should be there, but I'm not. He's not? Well, I'll be a lizard's uncle. I guess our little talk may have convinced him after all. We all went out drinking last night, and my cousin and I made one last attempt to talk him out of it. I guess it worked. Damn. I don't know. 
I would have expected him to tell me if he had made such a decision. With so many people missing lately, I prefer to make sure. He should be at my cousin's house, the last one before the West Gate. Will you check? The more I think about it, the more this concerns me. If you find my brother, tell him to come speak with me. If he doesn't come soon, I'm going to close up shop and help you search. You must understand, I love my little brother, but he is so naive. He shouldn't associate with a crown girl, let alone marry her. Our father, to Walker, keep his soul, would never have approved. So I cannot approve either. Of course I do, but I cannot disrespect our father's memory. None of this matters, though. Right now, all that matters is Kaznar's safety. I will approve the marriage before I see him harmed. I'll be at the spot. and just walk into people's houses and snoop around upstairs? If my cousin were here, he might not be so friendly. Me? I don't care. I don't really care about anything at this point. I don't know, maybe because there are armed thugs out there with orders to break my kneecaps if I try to leave? If I thought I could get past them, I'd make a run for it, but they'd catch me. It would be pointless. Ask Tiela's father. He's the one who hired them. Paid Uncle Thak to make sure I don't get to the wedding. Jagness has been against our marriage from the beginning. I don't know why I thought he would come around. Of course. He wants Tiela to think I stood her up. She'll hate me for the rest of her life and think he was right all along. The bastard. If my father were alive, he'd beat the Oblivion out of Jagnus. Of course, that would only make things worse. Don't bother. If he went to this much trouble, he won't change his mind. If you really want to help, there's only one way. You'll have to talk to Uncle Thak. Uncle Thak and his gang run the streets here in Bergama. They're not above the law, but they can be dangerous. If you can convince Uncle Thak to let me out, I'll go to the wedding. Jagnus won't be able to say a thing. Look at this, you walk in like you own the place, like you fear absolutely nothing. If it's a fight you want though, you've come to the wrong place. This is a place of business. I'm a businessman. Kaznar? Why doesn't Kaznar come talk to me himself? Oh yes, I remember. He prefers the indoors. Probably better that way. 
Yes, Kaznar needs to stay at home. Or do you take issue with that? Slow down now. No need to be rude. Like I said, I'm a businessman. Truth is, I didn't much like the deal I had with Jagnus anyways. You'll owe me a favor, but I'll give him a refund, and your boy can get married whenever he likes. My people wouldn't have really hurt the kid anyways. Kaznar and Tiela make a nice couple. In fact, if you'll do me that favor we discussed, I'll have my men escort Kaznar right up to the altar. Get them a gift. Some hag's breath. It's an aphrodisiac. They might not be able to walk for a few days, but it'll make the wedding night unforgettable. There's an old hag in the desert, Viani. Kill her and bring her hag's breath to the wedding. I'm so glad you made it in time. We are just about to begin the ceremony. Kazno told me everything, and knowing what you have done, you are the guest of honor. Oh goodness, Hag's breath. What a special gift. Thank you, thank you both. Please, you must stay for the ceremony. It would mean so much to Kaznar and to me. This marriage would not have been possible without you. People of Bergama, we are gathered here today to witness the bond of marriage between Kaznar and Tiel. Their union marks a great day for the citizens of Bergama, crowns and forebears alike. Their love is a testament to the kinship that all crowns and forebears share with each other. I have to admit, when Uncle Thak's thugs came to the door, I thought they were going to kill me. One thing I know. We will certainly be able to look back at our wedding day and laugh. Yeah! I can't believe it. My baby brother is getting married before me. <laughs> My little boy's all grown up. I never thought this day would come. Yeah! Yeah! I cannot believe she went through with it. Can say is thank Rutka that I have other daughters. I will not even allow them to talk to forebears. The sneaky little cur. 
I only tried to get the wedding called off for their own good. Crowns and forebears are too different. Remember my words. This marriage will not last. Someday they will realize I was right. I can't believe we're here. Uncle Thax getting soft in his old age. Uncle Thax says we're paying the bride's father a visit. After the ceremony, of course. Yeah! Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! You know, they actually make a pretty cute couple. I never thought I'd see the day that Kaznar Atarin got married. Seeing how happy he is, I've changed my mind. This is a good thing. It is good to see you again, my friend. Now I understand why Tuwaka bid me to come here to Hunding's watch. If you are to save the Alakir Desert from the Withered Hand, there are things you must learn from the spirits of this place. Yes, many of them. And pilgrims come from all over Hammerfell to honor them. The heroes of our greatest wars. It is usually a quiet affair, but when one such as you arrives, spirits of friend and foe alike awaken to create a portrait of the past. To teach you, if you are to be champion of the Alakir, you must understand the spirit of this desert and its people. Tuwaka says you must walk in the steps of our heroes, battle the spirits of the enemies they faced, then will understand. First you will face the Nidic peoples. When the Ragada first crashed on these shores, the Nids were first to challenge them. Fight the Nidic soldier spirits, claim their essences, and use them to summon and face their leader, War Chief Hakon. The Nidic peoples were the ancient ancestors of our human kin here in Tamriel. Those who dwelled on the Isle of Hearn had long struggled to resist the elves prior to the Ragada's arrival. Upon seeing the Yokudan sails, they took up the sword again. They struggled mightily. We honor their bravery. But no, they fell before the Yokudan onslaught like all the others. That was the name of our Yokudan ancestors during the exodus from our ancient homeland. After Yokuda sank beneath the waves, they sailed here in search of a new home. Their coming was not peaceful. You see, the term Regada means 
warrior way. Yes, my friend, albeit slowly. Not all heed to Waka's words as I do. When the Withered Hand is no more, we will have much to do. All the corpses to be clean and dressed. Zet's tears. We will need more throne keepers. Of that I am certain. Sartakal eats himself, and the spirits move to the far shores. Shiri? I do not know this name, nor do I know anything about any Anse Ward. I know only that Sartakal will soon devour himself, devour us all. We must warn them, or must we? No, it matters not. In our fight against the Needs, we saw the raw power of defiance. We came to respect Tamriel and its warriors. You must now battle the giant Goblin King. The Regatta's long road to conquest was paved with thousands of these beasts' corpses. Such things are difficult to imagine, yes. In those times, goblins were mighty beasts and their cruelty was not tempered by cowardice as it is now. Their filthy strongholds littered the sands of Hammerfell like a pox when the Ragada arrived. Horrible indeed. Our Yokudan ancestors could not tolerate such a blight on their new homeland. They would suffer no rivals, and so one of their mightiest heroes, Frandar Hunding, rallied the swords of the Ragada to slay the beasts. Ah, Tuwaka claimed him during one of the bloodiest battles of the campaign. But his son, Divad, filled with wrath over the slaying of his father, soon rose to take command of the Ragada. He swore to avenge his father, no matter the cost. The Song of Divad tells us that he and his band of sword singers worked their sacred forges and consulted eldritch tomes for many long years to create five great swords. With these blessed blades, the Regatta forever vanquished the giant goblins. 
Well, Tuwaka tells me that you must do battle with the spirits of the long-dead giant Goblin King. To what end? I do not know. But only fools doubt Tuwaka's wisdom. Ironically, it was in our fight against the hideous goblins that we came to love the desert and its simple beauty. Now you must face the proud orc warriors of ancient Orsinium. The fight for the orc city proved to be one of our greatest trials. It is the heart of orcdom in Tamriel, settled at the foot of the Rothgarian mountains. It is a city of simple things towering and cold. It has been raised and rebuilt countless times. The orcs are a tenacious people. Conquerors is a strong word, but yes, of course they were. Ah, our ancestors and the Bretons laid siege to the city for 30 years before finally breaching the walls and raising the city. The orcs proved to be fearsome adversaries. You must face the ancient orcish specters in battle, and then summon and defeat their leader, General the Shaga. Tawaka says there is great wisdom to be gleaned from this.
not welcome here. We will defend our land. of Yakuda were not often sheathed. Our long siege of Orsinium taught us the value of patience. Now you must face the forces of the Breton king, Joal, a treacherous asp, whose lust for power led to broken alliances and countless sorrows. He was the king of Daggerfall during the siege of Orsinium. The embers of the Orcish Hold had not even cooled before he took up arms against our ancestors, his former allies. He was slain by a heroic sword singer at the Battle of Bankarai Pass. You must slay the perfidious spirits of King Zhuol's Breton army. Then King Zhuol himself, I suspect. Tuwaka shall be watching.
You served your purpose. Now you will die. Wall's betrayal taught us yet another virtue. Caution. Wariness. We remain slow to trust, but loyal beyond measure. You have reached the summit. The make-way god sees much at this height. Have you learned the greatest lesson of this place? The greatest lesson of Hundig's watch is this. Wars are fleeting, but honor is eternal. The dunes of time are ever shifting. Kings rise and fall. Cities are raised and rebuilt. Alliances are forged and broken. But honor, glory, legend remains. Your valor strikes a mighty bell. The heroes have come here themselves. Nakela Leki, Derek Hallen, and both Frandar and Divad Hunding. Their spirits have come here to meet you, to challenge you, and to teach you. No, you will not cross blades. The sword singers were as much mages as warriors. They sought strength of body and of mind. These spirits will speak to you. Choose your words with care, though. Tawaka says they seek to teach and to test. The blades are forbidden. We must not use them. Without our people. Civilization will die. Taking up those blades may lead to something far worse than death. All choices exact a toll, Wayfarer. Some are trivial, but some, some linger for generations. I was forced to drink from a bitter cup in my time, and all Red Guards have paid the price. I wonder if you would have made the same choice. Giant goblins, beasts thought conquered by Divad, have returned. The fight goes poorly. You know the location of powerful magic blades. They are dangerous. They were hidden for a reason. Do you seek out the blades, or fight on without them? You would have met a glorious end. We chose the blades and destroyed the beasts. But as a result, the Shahai, our spirit swords, were forever destroyed. Centuries of wondrous tradition was snuffed out. I must bear this weight always. The goblins approach, my lord. They will slaughter our scouts. We must hold this pass or the war is lost. Their sacrifice will be remembered always. Many of our noblest warriors will be slain. How can you turn your back to them? A goat will run if you strike it. A jackal may bite if you give chase. 
Only man can choose to do nothing. The path of restraint is often the hardest. I pose to you a question, one that still haunts me. You are a scout for a great army, perched on a mountainside. In the pass below, a band of enemy soldiers slowly approach the position of your dearest friend. Do you abandon your post to help your friend, or do you remain hidden to report the attack? Yes, your friend may die if you do not render aid. But if you fail to report the assault, is not the entire army put at risk? How many men could lose their lives for this one soldier? One's loyalties are truly put to the test. We must consider negotiation, my son. To the dogs with that! Hera has killed my mother. He killed your wife. What you say is true. Many more wives and sisters will die if we take up the sword. This cave has made a coward of you. We must fight! To choose for oneself is simple. To choose for a nation is hard. The heaviest blade is as a feather compared to the trust of one's people. Abide with me and listen carefully. A tyrant threatens your people. If you submit to him and become his willing thrall, your people will be shown mercy. If you attack, you and your people will be driven from your homeland and exiled to the sea. What do you do? I too choose to attack. But all choices bear a cost, Wayfarer. When the last sword was sheathed in the shadow of Mount Hatu, the dead were beyond counting. Many more were lost at sea during the exodus. Was the price of honor too high? I spent my early years as a maiden of a spirit. As early... As early as I remember. Great heroes often carry the greatest regrets. They lie buried in the sand with the bones and broken blades, hidden, forgotten. I had many stories to pass on, but only one is known. Hearken to me. You have won a great battle and covered yourself in glory. But you are gravely wounded. A magical memory stone will allow you to record your last thoughts. Do you think of the battle recording history? Or do you immortalize your beloved family? The battle was important, yes. But is love not also worthy of remembrance? I thought of my training and the details of the battle, but as I turned my thoughts to family, death silenced me. Now they are forgotten, lost for all time. Waka tells me the heroic spirits have returned to their slumber. Ah, only Tuwaka has such knowledge, my friend. I could barely hear you from here. Luckily, Tuwaka has shared some of his wisdom with me. Tuwaka tells me that you are bound to the greatest of Red God virtues, honor and loyalty. 
You are drawn to great summits and glorious ends. Hold fast to that courageous spirit. But know that sometimes we must make sacrifices for the greater good. What? No! I simply thought you'd like to know what Tuwaka thought of you. He is an excellent judge of character. No. The real lesson of these heroes is that legend always carries a price. You must be prepared to pay that toll when it comes. Tuwaka extends his hand. You need only enter the portal, and you will be transported back to the desert below. Please, tell me you have seen her. Shiri, the scholar's apprentice, have you seen her? She had the ancient text from the Withered Hand Necromancer at Tava's Blessing. She was supposed to go back to Bergama, but she never made it. We knew Shiri believed the Third Ward was here, and that you came this way, so we were hoping. Alas, there is one other place she might be, but I am too weak to make the journey. Will you take on the search for Shiri in my stead? It is not just Shiri. It is the text she found at Tava's Blessing. Scholar Zore says it must be kept away from the Withered Hand. Shiri has a cousin in Satakalam. Nahira, please, you must go and see if Shiri is there. Thank you, my friend. Prince Azar said you were indispensable. I now see why. You do an old soldier a great favor by helping. I hope Shiri is not hurt, and even more so, I hope that text has not been taken again by the Withered Hand. I do not know, but it is all we have to go on. Scholar Zore was almost certain Shiri would have come here, but she suggested Satakalam as her next guess. Shiri was not close to her cousin, but Zore said she planned to visit Nahira someday. She needs to take that text she found in Tava's blessing and bring it back to Zore and Bergama. If you are willing, I would suggest you escort the girl there yourself. She seems to have a talent for getting lost. I was beset by many troubles on the journey from Tava's Blessing. Scorpions, Dune Rippers, and then, not far from here, I was ambushed by the Withered Hand. I managed to kill the dirty dogs, but not before they had hurt me pretty good. Yes. Yes, I just need time to rest, to eat, and to properly bandage my wounds. Finding Shiri is too important, though. I would have made myself go on, however slowly, if you were not here.
This bird will do nicely. No end to those winged rats. Not that I'm complaining. Every feather's worth a fortune in gold to us now. You one of the magistrate's charges? I'm only shooting the ones in town, don't worry. Don't think about trying to cut in. Danim's got an exclusive relationship with the magistrate. She gets wind of any shenanigans. Not my concern. I get paid for feathers regardless. Go talk to some of the townsfolk if you're that curious. The magistrate's the one who runs this town. Tell him I've got some more feathers coming his way. Right down. You're a new face to me, unlike that flappy buzzard over the barn. What? These birds aren't aggressive. I've had horses do more damage to me than any harpy. And I've had more trouble with these mercenaries than I've ever had with either steed or bird. I saw them steal four sacks of good grain from Zilron, a Khajiit merchant. And in the Magistrate's name, mind you. Him? <laughs> Ran off, no doubt. Who knows what he does, or where he hides after he's run amuck in the market. He trades more than just grain, if you ask me. You won't be the only one looking for that furry tail wretch. Fiend. What a relief. You would be too if you heard those beasts. Those screeching, pecking, clawing beasts. This one had hoped the mercenaries would take care of our bird woman problem. But no. Now Zilron has two problems. Oh yes. They help themselves to my gold and my goods. And sometimes they help against the harpies. So, I wait here. Sooner or later, one of Zilron's problems will go away. to the skies, friend. The harpies like to swoop down and grab whatever's light enough to carry. I've lost two hats and a goat to the feathered villains. Only after they've sucked you dry. I refused to pay their protection fee, and the next day my house was ransacked. I'll keep my own watch for harpies coming near from now on. Except entertainment, I can only guess. It's not like one can ask a beast why it acts so. It is simply its nature. Harpies are much bolder. We need more coin for supplies and the like. I heard disturbing rumors about your methods. Have you heard about the traveler stirring up trouble in town? And look who's here. Keep your opinions about our work to yourself. Dealing with the harpies as fast as we can, I assure you. Now please address any specific complaints to one of the guardsmen. Nothing. I have things under control. Got a reliable group to protect the town until we're self-sufficient again. And please, don't say anything to Danim. She can get 
upset when the end of her tenure is brought up. She's the leader of the Gold Coast Mercenary Troop. I hired them to make up for our shoddy defenses when the Harpies attacked. They get the job done, and that's about as much as I'll say. Deneem doesn't like competition, and I'm certainly not going to endanger our business arrangement. If I were you, I would keep my stay here brief. Now, if that's all, I'm sure you can see yourself out. Father, you need to know what's going on out there. Who is this? Someone come to help? No. I have no patience for your theories. Fine. If you want the truth, come talk to me. Meet me at my house. It's at the edge of town, past the smithy. I'll tell you everything I know. See you soon. Here's the person that uncovered the plot against the king. Hail, hero. It's not safe to talk in the streets. Now, I can speak openly. Be at ease. The mercenaries dare not enter my home uninvited. I watched you long before you spoke to my father, Magistrate Andrin Atlehil. You spoke to people in town and listened to their answers. Are you actually interested in helping? I'm the Magistrate's daughter, raised here, though now I am a traveling merchant. I came back when I heard of the town's troubles. My father insisted he had it under control. Now I'm doubly sure I returned at the right time. The Gold Coast mercenaries, our supposed saviors from the Harpies, are our problem. They extort and steal from the good people here. And what's more, they've done nothing but make our Harpy issues worse. Since Denim and her friends arrived, the Harpies are angry with the town. They're usually nothing more than flying rats. The Harpies can attack, yes, but only when provoked. And I know the mercenaries are the ones who've provoked them. The mercenaries hid harpy eggs around Kozenset. Naturally, the harpies want the eggs back. That's the root of the town's harpy trouble. We must find and return their eggs so one problem's solved. But first, follow me upstairs. is a friend. The Harpies are not our enemies. Will you help me convince the others? I rescued her from them. The mercenaries killed her mother and the other chicks in her brood. This creature had done no wrong, yet they would kill her to be paid for her feathers. I couldn't stand by and let that happen. Could you? It's the right thing to do, for us and them. I'll be waiting in the town square for you, if you're willing. What do you say? Thank you. I can't do this on my own, and my father won't listen to me until I have proof. I don't think the eggs will be proof enough, but at least they will be safe. She comes and goes as she pleases. This is a wild creature, after all. I do not even name her, for she isn't mine. Once their eggs are back in their ivories, the Harpies won't attack Kozenset. And then, we can deal with those mercenaries.
what might they wield? Oh. You're quite light on your feet. Let me see the eggs. Thank you for doing this. I'm sure not all of the eggs survived, but the least we can do is return them to the Harpies. I don't have proof, but I know it was the mercenaries that did this. Who else could be so cruel? Hold a moment. Someone's coming. job and we'll do ours you hid those eggs on purpose didn't you say no more child we haven't time for troublemakers they're up to something they must be we have to find out what they're doing the mercenaries go in and out of the warehouse next to my home there's got to be a reason. Why don't you go there and find out what they're doing? One of them will let slip what their game is. Hide somewhere and listen to their chatter. I'll take these eggs back to my house for now. We can go to the Irie later to put them back. Getting tiresome. I almost preferred the harpies. Harpies are the least of your problems if you don't pay up. You've got your gold. No need to make threats. Let's see it then. Better not have shorted me. It's all there. We don't want to end up like the others. Good. I'll be back next week. Prices might be going up. Manu Merciful Ruka, how long must we put up with these thieves? Responsible one. I told her not to trust those creatures, and now look what's happened. My daughter was stolen away by the harpies. She and several other people from Kozen set. Their blood is on your hands. Deneen told me about your meddling. Not yet. They say they must prepare for another raid by the harpies before they send anyone out on the sands. It's only right that you find my daughter, since you helped her get into this mess. Outside town, on the hillside, where they keep their iries. Feeding our people to their young, no doubt. And you, you instigated this attack.
you're alive. I thought they might have taken you, too. Some. The mercenaries decided I was worth more dead than alive. They threw me out with a few others, beaten and bound. That's when the jackals came. Thanks to the harpies, I didn't end up like the others. Well, this one did, and she brought some of her friends. They chased away the jackals and brought me to shelter. We must stop the mercenaries before any more innocents die, whether harpies or villagers. We don't need any more bloodshed. If there's a way we can end this without fighting, we must. I have an idea. Find my father. Ask that harpy out there to get you to town. I'll be behind you. You're here! Did you find my daughter? What? That's ridiculous. Why would they want to abduct the very people I'm paying them to protect? I will. Where is she? Is that her over there? What nerve! Running your mouth right in front of me! You've disgraced our town long enough! Ugh! A rotten egg?! Don't think this is over, child. Gather everyone who will stand with us to drive these bad eggs out of town. Father, the dead can't offer their forgiveness, but I can. Stand with us. <laughs> That's the one Leisure said to wait for. Let's go. About time we ran these charlatans out of our town. Leisure said you'd come. Let's head to the guardhouse. The harpies are congregated around this building. Looks like the mercenaries took something every bit as valuable as the harpies' eggs. I've no idea, but we need to restore goodwill with our flying neighbors. Even my father is in there to negotiate the mercenaries' departure. They should be out soon. The villagers, I mean. They want to cast Danim from the town themselves. She's a coward and a bully. Once her nature's revealed, my father won't let her back into Kozenset. We'll need to return whatever she took to the harpies on the balcony. Head inside and find it. I'll try to convince them we're all friends. Pitiful town won't survive without our protection. We can do without you. Go and never return. And we'll run out anyone else who tries to bully us, too. May the sands take your accursed town! We see you again, we'll throw you to the harpies. Harpies major. Is this the reason they started attacking in the first place?
know if the Harpies will ever be able to trust us. Maybe this is the first step. What do you think? Who knows how long those fiends kept the Harpies agitated, just to take advantage of this town. If I hadn't returned when I did and gotten your help, they'd continue to terrorize my people and these Harpies. Give her to me. I still need to return their eggs, so I'll take her as well. Looks like I'll be around for a while. Though we disagree on many things, my father will need help regaining the town's trust. And I miss this place. Harpies and all. <laughs>